All right, so we're getting to towards the end of our uh, very exciting event and packed with a lot of information. Uh, it's the closing session. Before we actually uh, talk about the takeaways, I uh, just want to say that the three days we just passed have gone just like this. And uh, I think it's, ta it's, uh, it's worth taking a quick look at what we've experienced uh, just to, so that you take it with you back. Can you please show the video, please? Welcome to Warsaw for the second edition of the IATA Global Airport and Passenger Symposium. The customers are at the heart of everything we do. My experience is uh, both positive uh, and sometimes negative. Why aren't there standard sizes of luggage? Why does a, a flight attendant have to go around and reshuffle? Every second of the day that you're doing, you want to upload to all your friends? Or is, is, is that just a complete misconception? Uh, no, this is completely true. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 could, could you provide me with the Wi-Fi on the uh, short destination airplanes, please? Make sure that our processes are, can be automated, can uh, need less workforce. Being able to treat everybody as a human, uh, no matter what part of the cabin they're sitting in, is, is really the important piece. Interesting times these days for the air transport industry, but we are under pressure, strong pressure. We must commit to making flying unquestionably sustainable, environmentally, economically and socially. We must build effective and efficient infrastructure, and we must create a gender-balanced workforce equipped with skills for the future. Aviation is the industry of freedom. We actually need aviation to be able to grow our economies. It has to be customer focused. Uh, we have to provide the customer with, this, with a seamless customer experience. After safety, customer experience is at the heart of what we do. This is why we have jobs, this is why we move this, this fascinating industry. And we can never lose sight of our customers. We care about growth in the industry because of the benefits that aviation brings. But having said that, those outcomes aren't guaranteed. There are a number of challenges, a number of issues that we have to face as an industry. We need to get away from process-intensive, congestion-ridden, and over-regulated industry. Stuff goes wrong. When you are in a crisis, and I see various kind of difficulties hovering around this industry, don't ignore it, embrace it. It's a way to work out how to solve a problem for your long-term advantage. We're not talking together, the same industry, but different bits are just not communicating together. The technology is there, the technology is reliable, and it's a question of getting organized to use it. So actually, how do we come together uh, to challenge ourselves in, in terms of how we operate um, and and create a combination of people, process and technology coming together. This, this is all about the innovation in terms of how do we test these ideas that help everybody and bring everybody along with us um, versus it being done to us. So we wanted to bring all these innovations that were happening under one umbrella so that you could leverage the technology use in one area and another and benefit from that. Good news is there is no shortage of innovation and opportunity. Let the customer be the force of change required to let to make this thing take place. Yes, it's been an amazing three days, and um, uh, I will present a couple of additional highlights that uh, were um, coming out of the various sessions. There's so many good sound bites that we've captured from people, it's possible to cover them all, but it's important that we talk about the takeaways and just so that we know what we came here for and we have something to reflect on, you know, to move forward and to we keep working on. Before, a couple of interesting stats uh, about this event. Overall, we had this year 475 delegates. 
uh, including 106 airline participants from 44 airlines, uh, 625 mobile app user contributions, including social shares and messages, 3,160 session views, and 6,600 minutes open in mobile app, uh, 420 kilometers traveled by the hotel staff to serve us. We kept busy 30 cooks. We served over 2,200 kilos of food and 44 kilos of coffee, and still counting. So, so uh, there's a lot of logistics, as you can, as you can see behind this. Um, just uh, additional takeaways, and some you will have seen from the original uh, uh, days in the plenary, but again, some of the sound bites uh, we've heard passengers are telling us, communicate with me, just keep me informed all the time with what's going on with my, my flight travels. Some sessions when we develop new airport, we have to think holistic, we have to respect the environment, we have to think about CO2 emissions, and we have to extend collaboration to the other modes of transport. Uh, gender balance, we need to see more women in the Asian aviation industry. Not the first time we're here, we need to keep promoting women in, uh, in, in senior positions and just contributing to, to uh, innovation and development. Remember the customer, remember the customer, remember the customer. Can't say enough. Um, in terms of the, uh, yeah, sorry, additional one, uh, talk about capacity for the future. Uh, remember the theme of the, the event is, is thinking about capacity. How do we build capacity to, to provide a sustainable future for the industry? Estimated that, uh, estimating that uh, the industry will need over 4,000 new aircraft in, in to face the growth um, uh, and the men in the future. There, there might be a very, very serious global skills of staff, technical staff, pilots, technicians, cabin crews. This is something we really need to keep in mind when we grow this industry. There's market shift to the east. Uh, the evolution of market demand is changing from the traditional countries to the new one in the east. So what, how is this going to affect the industry? Never forget, policy and regulatory backdrop matters. So there's a lot of changes we want to do, but we need to work with our governments to make sure that we change and we make this, and we enable this industry to grow. Um, Explore the crisis. We've heard from David Rowan sometimes, we should not fear that, but take the opportunity to learn and get better at any crisis that we face in the industry. Every company must become a machine learning evolving entity. Something very important to keep in mind. We have to keep learning, have to keep better at, at what we do. Uh, protect my data. So yes, a lot of data sharing. Customers are willing slowly to give more to get benefits, but it has to be protected. Um, Changes in the leverage technology. A good example that was brought up is uh, when the security checkpoints, some of the biggest struggle that, that the uh, checkpoint officers have is actually to tell the customers to leave their laptops in their bag as we teach them to do otherwise for all these years. So as new technology evolves, it's an interesting paradigm shift. Um, bolster our engagement with our, with, uh, we need better direct communication with our, with our customers. There's been a number of examples raised in the past three days where we should speak directly with our customers far more and explain what we're doing so there's less confusion about uh, the, the processes and how to get the experience better with the customers. Stop duplication, let's challenge ourselves to remove unnecessary processes. It's a theme that came throughout the three days and I guess it's not something you've heard for the first time, we need to be good at this. And collaboration, it takes an orchestra to play a symphony. So that's a nice, nice uh, little sound bite from, um, from working together. From passengers with challenges, disabilities, we need to focus on the abilities, not on the disabilities. Let's treat them uh, and understand what they need. Let them tell us how we better uh, serve them. Uh, remember, disruption management and negative experience lasts 60% longer than a good experience. So uh, difficult for the brand when we keep doing that. Innovation, slowest pace is what we have now. So we need to embrace innovation and we need to go fast. Um, from our beloved millennial onboard Wi-Fi, I need it because I want to call my mom. We need to get Wi-Fi on board. We want to be connected. A um, couple of picks from the various tracks from the seamless journey area. So public-private partnerships. We have to do uh, things with each other rather than to each other. Very important to keep that in mind when we just engage. Visa regimes, it's time to evolve the visa, re visa regimes around the world, need to streamline them, make it more friendly, make it more fast, make it more uh, customer user. Uh, accessibility, very interesting quote. It's, about, it's not about being special, it's about being equal. So we have to keep that in mind. Let's not design 
Let's not treat people with challenges as exceptions, but normal people and understand their needs and serve them accordingly. Uh, new border control. Rethink the way we, we are transmitting our personal, personal information uh, to, to, the, uh, to the agency. So remove that from the airport, do it right from, right from the comfort of home. Uh, and capacity building, mining the gap. So not every country is working as fast in terms of development. Some countries have the means, they have the infrastructure, they go fast. Other countries are slower in that. So let's make sure we can leverage the best practices and help the countries that don't go as fast. Interabil interoperability, a team that came in all the sessions, we need to expand our ecosystems. We are good at designing solutions that are still very siloed, but we need to make sure that they are able to be shared across the various ecosystems. Uh, transforming airports. So, connected and autonomous vehicle will enhance the ramp, ramp efficiencies. There's more development towards this area. It's going to bring some much overdue changes to the ramp operations, to the ground operations. Um, sustainability, sustainability, sorry, sustainability, it's a tough word to say after three days, is now at the heart of airport design. Uh, the optimal airport now, uh, do more with less, be more efficient, leverage technology again. From a ground operation standpoint, more brains, less muscle. So staff shortage is very important, hard to retain people, more pressure on the operation. So let's make sure we bring again technology and, and intelligence and less human beings if it's not needed. ACDM is a must. We need to get these, these, these large airports to work together, connect all the different stakeholders, and use the data to have performing airports. Finally, in a world of interactive data track, uh, connectivity may be close to the heart, but far from the wallet. We had discussions about the connected aircraft and having Wi-Fi on board. It has to be affordable. People want it. Still some work to do to make it a commodity. Data sharing. Do not leave the data in your pockets. How do we share data amongst the stakeholders as well, not being too, protect too protective about it, but respecting the data, but sharing it effectively? Communications. Real-time, accurate, transparent. We've heard this over, over and again. Customers want to know what's happening with their journey at all times, and it has to be transparent. And give context as well. Uh, they want to know just more than sometimes delays and where they go, but just why and, and what to expect. We can certainly work and enrich that. Uh, treat your bag like your customer. So you lose a bag, you might lose a customer, right? So just make sure that you pay the same attention in the process to the bag. It's very important to customers. Standardized, standardized data sharing will bring speed to market. So there is one idea of data sharing, obviously, but between the stakeholders, the best way to do this in, a, in an efficient way and bring speed to market is to find the right standard, keep pushing standards to do that for industry stakeholders. So in closing, let's keep on closing the gaps. Um, so now. That summarizes the, the takeaways. There are far more than that. You'll be able to see that. Uh, once you will have completed the survey, we'll send everyone an event survey. Uh, you'll receive within a few days. Once you've answered the survey with your feedback, suggestions, comments, you will have access to all the PowerPoint, all the presentations that were, uh, that were uh, shown and, and authorized by the, by the presenters, and the conference pictures as well. So in closing, I'd like to thank you, uh, a lot of thank you to, to uh, a lot of people to help us. So first of all, our host, uh, host airline, Lot Polish, did an amazing uh, show for us. And if there's anyone from Lot Lear, but if not, I'd still like a round of applause for these guys. It's amazing. <laughs> also, thanks to our platinum uh, sponsor, CETA, and to gold sponsor, Idemia. Uh, we also like to thank all of our sponsors, exhibitors, media partners, and supporting organizations. Um, thanks to all of you, uh, without, without uh, whom we could have uh, not put forward such a great, uh, great event. Uh, thanks for uh, the excellent boots displaying the new products and solutions and services to help move the industry forwards. I want to thank also all the working groups for their contribution to the event. So it might have been visible for many of you, but there are a lot of uh, industry working groups that were working in the back scene. So thanks, thanks for making this a success. Thanks to all of you, some are still in the room, all the speakers and moderators uh, who did greatly contribute to the event program. Thanks you for, thank you for sharing your knowledge and expertise. Um, uh, thanks for all this good work. Thanks to the IATA team and the MEGV team who worked really hard to put this event together for since many months now. So big, big kudos to that. Make it really uh, run smoothly and in a very efficient way. I hope you'll be able to 
attest that. And last but not least, thanks to all of you, the delegates who've been here, either new or regular. Uh, it took your precious time to join us here in Warsaw. I really want to sincerely thank you. Without you, we're doing this, certainly not for ourselves. We want to throw messages to how we transform the industry. So big thanks to all of you. And now it's time to look at where we're going to go next year. So please. we're going to South Africa so looking forward <laughs> so thank you again everyone it brings the event to a closing now I really want to thank you again and I hope to see you all next year in Japan thank you <laughs>